as an actor, they, they, my experience has been they prefer to just to kind of put you in that place and keep you there. Yeah. And, and sometimes I think it's, um, let me just say, I think they do it for convenience. Yeah. You know, you play that thing, we'll play this thing. Everyone has their job to do. So then, you know, once you get... There's an immediate assumption on the part of others in the production process that when the actor speaks about something, even if it's about their role, I think actors feel an eye roll or something like, a, oh, here we go, like he's there, they want this, and it's like a really insecure place for there's, actors to be in. There's an assumption of uh, any time an actor opens their mouth, uh, there's, uh, they're, gonna, they're self-serving yeah. themselves. It, you know, it's almost as if they're... they're um, Overshadowing. They, they they want they always want uh, more lines or, and so it takes a while for them to for you to gain their trust and say I'm I'm really my my focus my interest is on the project because if the project doesn't work if if it's a shitty project and I'm the lead actor on a shitty project you know I'm not going to be happy no one's going to be happy about that and and I've already been there you know with with a variety of things so, um yeah that's why I did it so that I could get into the rooms with the adults. They like to call themselves the adults, and we're children. Hi. <laughs> and, and yeah, so that's why I did it. I, I'm not a producer on the show, but... Uh, no. I, I never will be, but they um, <clears throat> were so collaborative, everybody. And that went for, I'd say, any actor in this show would agree. I, I, I've never had that before on a TV show, especially a first season of a show. Brian and Patrick McManus, uh, Chris, everybody was so collaborative and listened to us. And we were like, you know what, this doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Like I would, I'd get a script and I would tell Brian, this section doesn't make sense. He goes, yeah, you're totally right. And then the day before I'd get a new monologue. Yep. And I'd be like, And oh, it, show, it yeah. showed, and even on the, and ad-libbing, like once we had it, what, what was on the page, once we got that, then they'd say, okay, let's do a couple takes, just ad-libbing, and you, just whatever you want. Whatever Which you is want. another thing a lot of shows don't let you do. I feel a like... show like this, too. <clears throat> like, it's a rarity that I think in a show this stylistic and this plot-driven that you would get the chance to do stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. And I really think the, the greatest thing about this show is it is so not what you think it is. Even though it is, you'll watch that trailer, but there's a lot more to this. And I just showed my wife's parents the pilot. They're in their mid-80s. And I just showed them the pilot in, yeah. over Thanksgiving. And I said, you're going to hate this, because I knew it wasn't for them. My wife was like, she was on True Blood for five years, and they hated it. They just would always say to her, oh, you're the only thing we like about it, honey. And then, <laughs> seriously. So I was just like, I don't want to show them this, but they wanted to see it. So I came down after they'd watched it, and they genuinely loved it. And what they said is, her mom was like, the minute the flying blue creature came in, I knew everything was going to be okay. And everyone I cared about on the show was going to be okay. Oh my God. I swear to God. And they genuine, because they're not, they're not going to BS me. I thought that was so amazing that she said that. And they were so excited to see the next one. So it really is going to cross. I hope people give it a chance, because it's not. No, you're absolutely right. There is something about, like, I watched the trailer last <clears throat> night, and I was kind of like, oh, I, got, I get this. And then they sent me the episode, and I watched this morning. And within three minutes of the episode, I was like, no, I don't get, this is so much different and even better than I thought it, thought it could be. The way that it looks, the tone that it takes, the jokes. It's, it's just, it's great, mm -hmm. you know? A trailer, a, no kind of trailer could sell this for as good as it is. Everything you know? it is. Well, because it's more than one thing. It's yeah. really layered. And you'll see as you watch, there's a real heart to it. And I don't think things can exist if you don't care. And there's a definite caring here. So I like that. Congratulations as a producer. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God, we're back to that again? One and done. <laughs> One and done is that.